Oh, hey guys. So today, uh, the Tesla is finally ready. They just gave us a, a, an update on the app. We can't really talk to them. You have to go through the app, but apparently the car is ready and they've worked all the bugs out, or at least the best that they can. And uh, we'll see what's really going on with that thing. Let's go up there. <laughs> Is that a race car? <laughs> so I know when you guys all buy Teslas and Plaids, you're always wondering what happens if you drive it underwater. And <laughs> the reality is there are vent tubes on the drive lines and a couple Tesla experts have told me you probably got water in there. Uh, I ignored them and still drove it in a couple race weeks. So they showed me pictures and it is uh, milk. <laughs> nice white grayish milk was the uh, fluid color in the front drive unit. So they did flush the front one. The rear is still um, the way it's been. So I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. I think we kind of messed them up. And I think that's kind of why we aren't getting the speeds that we've been looking for. Regardless of the suspension, there are just a few things that should have been making it faster. But on the good side, maybe that has been our problem and why we're not getting our top speeds the way we want it to be. And I already just placed an order for new drive units. So that's um, about 15 grand <laughs> for a new rear unit and a new front unit. The good thing is I'm gonna have to pay a core charge to not give them my cores but I'll be able to keep my units um, and then we'll be able to uh, put in the brand new ones. So that's on the list next. And I just think that it's gonna need it to really uh, do what we wanna do and give it to its full potential. Other than that, I say we uh, get this thing back home and uh, start messing around with it and see what kind of, see what, how it feels right now, so. All right guys, so I'm driving the Tesla right now. The coolest part is I finally have like all the new software uh, track mode where I can customize it, put it in rear wheel drive. I don't know how much control you really get, but I guess like you can throw all the power to the rear. You can change the balance. You can turn down the stability control. I haven't seen anybody doing like standing burnouts yet. So I don't think that's really available, but I have seen people do donuts. So. Uh, <laughs> that's a really decent pull. Yeah. Point three. I tried to do a track mode. It's not designed to do launch and track mode. I'm gonna do one more launch out of here and see. But it's just like it's pulling hard. It's just not. It's it's got traction issues right now. I can I can feel the tires moving around. <laughs> no problem. I love finding Tesla bolts laying around. I gotta gather my thoughts, it's frustrating. It's like kind of the same shit, it feels better, but it's not. All right guys, so we finally got the Tesla back home, uh, did a few pulls and uh, it's kind of been, you know, running about two threes, zero to 60. It is on the street. Um, I do feel the tires not getting that much traction, um, you know, kind of fighting the road. So, but besides that, you know, we still have a lot of unsolved issues. The GPS is still not a registering, um, active it still thinks we're out in maricopa where we did the stunt i have my theories on why it's still stuck out in maricopa and why the gps isn't working but they told me it was a memory card issue was too small and it came that way and then i guess in february we got an update that said you need a new bigger memory card um and that will prevent it from having issues well obviously i didn't get a new memory card it was sitting in the garage and then it wouldn't drive so now <laughs> We got a new memory card in it and we still have GPS issues. Like it's still not registering where it's at. It doesn't know where it's at. Um, so it's kind of frustrating. We're kind of going round and round. I got to email them and ask them about a few other things that I thought would have been fixed, but they're still not. 
and, and kind of go from there. We'll, like I said, we just got to work through these glitches and a few other problems and then get into some real hardware, um, you know, uh, maybe some new drive units and some stuff like that. Try to get that top speed again, get it back to where it was and take advantage of the weight reduction like we've been trying to do for like the last six months now. So, and, and my main issue right now with Tesla is like, they've been great. Like this last go around, they've been great. They've been working with me and the guy there has been, been nice to talk to. And he's like a normal person and understands frustrations and wants to help me out. Um, but then it just feels like they shut down because they see that it was driven through water and it's not doing what they normally see. I need a real engineer outside the box thinker to look at this car and go, oh, this is what's happening. It's a super simple thing or it's a super complicated thing. But at this point, they just literally gave me my car back and it's just, they took the warranty off. <laughs> they got that taken care of. Uh, they charged me for a few things. A few things are back ordered. And then they gave it back to me with it still being kind of glitched out as far as GPS and a few other things. So um, right now, kick back on, take it into service. Uh, odometer's not reading properly and um, it may not restart. And that has been like the main reoccurring problem that I've had with the car. Uh, hopefully I have another uh, cable and um, module where I can plug in myself and read it. And that should help us out with some deeper diagnostics. Not that we can do a lot of repair with that system, but at least we can see exactly what's happening. Um, at least see what Tesla's seen. Um, and then we can kind of go from there and maybe help them out and walk them through some of the issues and then problem solve it. So. At this point, um, it's just going to sit now until we kind of figure out the next steps and get uh, the brakes fixed and a few other things, and then uh, we'll be right back at it. So until next time, guys, I really appreciate you uh, tuning in and following us on this uh, Tesla saga and trying to get it fixed. Uh, we really appreciate it and all the subs and, and all the comments and everything else. So keep doing what you guys are doing, and uh, I guess that's just another day chilling with Chet.